Okay, so uh, what, uh, what I very much like to do is to make um, what's called an 18650 power wall. This involves uh, reclaiming a whole bunch of these 18650s from old laptop batteries. It's a little bit dangerous. These have a, a history of uh, exploding, <laughs> um, but uh, or catching fire. Same type of or very similar type of technology that you would find in your uh, in your iPhone or in your uh, Samsung telephone. You know, remember the ones that went pop. Um, but also, I have here um, a little. A little uh, um, meter, which uh, which I'll connect up to it. Uh, if I can just get those wires on there, and maybe you can see that there. That's uh, all upside down, but it's uh, but it's reading. So um, so the plan ultimately is to make a six an eighteen six fifty power wall with lots of these in it, and make a wooden case for it. Um, put a, a meter on it so we know what kind of charge level it's at and uh, and that will be very useful um, for powering a lot of the things that I have uh, that are kicking around the house um, inside and outside and uh, we can probably even uh, make it um, as such that it's uh, solar powered. So a few of the tools that we're going to use to do this, we we'll use some uh, big spanners um, wrenches, whatever you call them, and uh, one of the tricks here is you can uh, go ahead and put a wrench on one side of the battery, put a wrench on the other side of the battery, and just very gently just give her a little bit of a, a twist, a twist like that until you hear the plastic crack, and then you know that uh, you've opened forcefully opened the uh, the glue bond in the plastic of the battery. I find that then you can just get your hands in here. You might want to wear gloves for this, but you can get your hands in here, pull the battery apart, and there you have it. A whole set of lovely uh, CGR, 18650 CE lithium ion batteries. And um, then uh, what you do is you just uh, pull them apart like this. Uh, careful not to cut your hands on the, um, on the metal. There's some sharp metal work in there. And um, it's just a little bit of uh, a little bit of cleanup required at that point. But um, and then what we're going to do is we're going to have to test them and make sure that um, they take a good charge and uh, and then we're going to have to solder cables onto them and put a bunch of them in parallel and a bunch of them in series to get the voltage uh, set correctly. Um, but yeah, we should have a pretty, a pretty powerful battery by the time we've finished. Let's see how it goes. All right, great news. So, uh, yeah, we have lots and lots of 18650s. I still haven't finished all of that yet, but we're getting there. Um, so we've got to test them all. And uh, in order to test them, we really should give them a bit of a charge. So um, 
We've got a few of these little uh, uh, 18650 chargers kicking around. I'm just gonna stick these in, stick them on charge, and uh, and see how we do. <laughs> a little chestnut. Well, the good news is that's charging. Let me uh, grab the camera. Okay, so the good news is that's charging. And um, I have it plugged into a special little USB voltage and current analyzer. And it also tells you how much um, current has been consumed in milliamp hours and how much and how long things have been on time for so you can see there it's a four point uh, uh, 4.9 volts approximately it's the charge system is drawing just over half an amp 0.57 uh, it's been on for about a minute and so far uh, we have we have um, put 11 milliamps into these batteries uh, it's gonna take quite a while to get all that lot sorted out but uh, I'm quite looking forward to uh, to seeing what kind of uh, what kind of uh, power wall we end up with. <laughs> 